Oh, there is no doubt. We have a lot of talented uh, kids throughout our county. Well, this is really awesome. They're getting mm -hmm. a chance to really show off their work. Some of them for the first time. Yeah, the Bajester Schools exhibit being held at the Panama City Center for the Arts. Aaron Morgan is down there checking out some of the fantastic pieces mm -hmm. of work. Good morning, Aaron. Hey, good morning, guys. Yes, I want you to see some of this artwork here. This is completely done with watercolors, and then we have some other things done with markers and pens, and it's just incredible because I can barely draw stick figures. So what these high school students are doing is amazing, and we are in front of the Arnold High School exhibit right now. I'm here with Dixie, and do you want to talk about some of the things that we're looking at? Sure, we have amazing art today. Um, not today, but the entire, <laughs> always. yeah, always. <laughs> but we have things that are any medium that you can think of. Sculpture right here. I mean, look at this. It's so beautiful. And we have uh, pastels and watercolor and paintings and drawings, just everything you can think of yeah. that these kids have worked on throughout the entire year. And they can even do photography as well. They can, yes. We have a lot of photography here. Just, I mean, I... I'm so blown away by the talent of these <laughs> I kids. I know. <laughs> Some of this stuff, I, I want to like buy it myself. Yeah. It's really good. But you guys also have elementary school art as well. We do. We are going to have elementary school art starting on April 11th. So this exhibit here is high school upstairs, middle school downstairs. That happens until April 6th. Okay. And then we switch it around, and then our entire building will be taken over by elementary school art. Uh and they're also very talented. Yes, and you said that they've been working on this stuff all year long, and then the art teachers, how do they decide who gets here? Um, they pick the best projects from each assignment that they give. Okay. So they choose a bunch of different kids. Sometimes uh, this autumn is here twice, so it could be that a kid is in here more than one time okay. because they're just so good. Yes, and you said that some kids, you know, maybe they had their art showcased in elementary school and now they're in high school. So do you think it's pretty special for them to see this? I think so. It's become a tradition for some children where they, they remember being in elementary school and middle school here and they ask their teacher, like, when's Best of Bay? How can I yeah. get ready for it? Like, what do I need to do? And then one day when they're a famous artist, they'll remember that they got their so start here. You need to come back to the Center for the Arts and yes. exhibit after you're famous. All right, so let's talk about how the rest of the community can come out and see this. Yes, so we are open from 10 to 5 most days. On Tuesdays and Thursdays, we're open late. So Tuesday through Saturday, people can come to the Center for the Arts. It's always free to see the exhibits. Yeah. So we hope that people come by. All right, and then a reception tomorrow where people can come out and the artists can really see their work. Yes, the reception is from 1 to 3. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Thank you so much, Dixie.